guys, welcome to the last installment in chapter 4, talking about assemblies. Alright, so we want to make this thing an exploded view. Well, we spent all that time making it look great. Now we're going to blow it up. So we're going to go to Insert. We're going to go to Exploded View. Select that. And now, what, when, you, when you're doing an exploded view, you just want to think about how it is assembled. So obviously, we're going to left click and select. Whoops. All right. Let me just clear this box. So I went left click. I'm going to right click to open this and say clear it all. Let me start again and stop uh, selecting at random. All right, so I know I need the rubber feet, and I believe there's one more foot, and let's collapse this. All right, now we see this triad here, and we're going to left click on that. Okay, go back into our isometric, zoom to fit. Now over here, we can dial in a dimension, we can type in a dimension, click, we must select a component, okay, so we already did that. Uh, so I'd have to go back in and select this, we'll, we'll do that later. Alright, so the next item is our base, and we're going to drag that guy down, click somewhere off the path here, and now I'm going to select all the joystick buttons, uh, I mean uh, screws, drag them up. I'm going to select the safety cover, drag that up. Let's left click the first red button, hold down the shift, select the last one. Oh, we're missing one. Okay. So I'm going to hit the. Mm, I'm going to left click that button. Okay, so that gets them all. And we're going to drag those guys up. Okay. And what do we want to do? Okay, so the next one, we're going to left click on the joystick. And we're going to drag him down. And let's see what that looks like. Alright. Well, that's looking pretty good. Alright. So that's how you explode your view. Now do you have to go through all that work again? Absolutely not. Up here this is your feature manager tab. Over here your property manager and your configuration manager. Go in there and hit this plus sign and here's your exploded view. Here's each particular chain that you added so let's see, let's say we wanted to go in and edit that one. So we're going to left click on chain 4 to select it, right click to edit the feature. And it shows us, in fact, it is the black cover that we're looking for. Um, and we can go in and lower it. So we can raise it and lower it to make it look however we want it to look and click OK. Alright, so you're done with the assembly, uh, the, the exploded view. Now you want to left click, left click on this guy, excuse me, left click and say collapse. Alright, and let's just hit save so we get all those saved and you want to for some reason explode it again which you will uh, and look at it and a lot of times what happens in today's time um, you may often be working uh, in a satellite office so you'll send not the CAD file but you'll send a vermal file and that gives a team a chance to look at it in this view um, it gives them a chance to look at it 
in the collapsed view and then also change its transparency so they can look through it to make sure that you've um, changed transparency. Let's double check. Okay, so we know that we have enough room to add nuts here if we need to. All right, and so that's a, a way of communicating the design to the team if you're off-site and that's um, and that's something that I do do and um, it's it's very successful uh, because of these tools and because the tools have gotten good and it just really allows for um, excellent communication alright so that's um, exploded views I hope you enjoyed this chapter and I am in the process of designing um, another half a dozen chapters so throw some feedback my way let me know what you think let me know what you want and um, I hope you enjoyed it and join me again thanks for watching